Hi everybody. Hi everybody. How are you guys doing? Again with the squeaky squeaky chair. The, just so squeaky. I need to put some oil in there. So we're on part six and we're going to be finishing. Um, actually I'm not sure if we're going to be finishing. I'm never sure am I? <laughs> okay so let's just let's concentrate on what we're seeing here. We're seeing me with a black water color pencil and, and a brush from my gelatos and we're activating our watercolor in a very messy organic way we're just outlining the heart I like the very messy way then I'm going to outline the little green vine that was white at first then, turn, then we put some green and now we're going to put some black I'm lifting a little bit of the paint there just to see what it would look like lifted and I liked it. I left some of it. Not sure why I started hitting the card there. Not sure at all. I was tapping it. I'm not sure why. Then we're going to get a uniball pin and while the heart dries and while the water color dries we're just going to mess around and do very messy messy scribbly which I love doing um, scribbles around the circles there. Now, as you can tell, this is one of the cards that I did the rolling rubber band on with the mandrel and the rubber bands we did. And again, I'll tell you that that's not cigarette smoke, that is vapor. And then we're going to outline the flowers, outline the, vein, the vine, connecting the flowers, well, what the flowers are hanging from, right? Unfortunately, my hand gets in the way a lot. But again, this is just an inspiration for you guys. And we're just going to do another double line down the vine of the flowers and continue probably outlining those flowers, I'm sure. Yeah that's what we're doing. There's a little white flower down there and a yellow one and we're outlining it. I would like to get myself eventually or have maybe my husband build one. Um, a table easel and set up my camera to an angle where you guys can can actually see me a little bit better. But I'm just outlining those organic looking flowers. I'm trying to speed the process of the watercolor that we activated. So I patted it on the table and now I'm going to do what I do. Um, outline the heart in a very very messy scribbly way. I hear people talking about the tips of their pins, so I wanted to check to see if I had anything thicker, and I think I did find something thicker. Some of these pins are water activating, but I spray my cards anyways with a varnish, so they're actually perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to mention that this video is 16 minutes long and 4 seconds, or 4 milliseconds. And we're just going to put that away. And again, we're going to look through the cards, see which one we work on. We're going to work on the owl. We're just going to define the eyeballs. 
And now that I'm remembering, I don't think we're done with any of the cards in this video. No, we're not actually. We're going to define the wings in a very scribbly way. There we go. I just figured out what that that fuzzy noise was. It's actually my speaker. And that was just your let's see, I have it here. It is a Deco Art Traditions, which I love that paint. Um in carbon black. It is a three full fluence out three full fluence fluid ounces and it's very very pigmented black. I love that stuff. My other favorite from the same brand is Deco Art Traditions line in what is this color? Crimson. They are gorgeous paints. They're very pigmented paints. It is a black that just won't let you down. I always grab for it. And then I'm looking here. Um, I'm going to look for the other paint that that's going to be coming up. Here it is. I really don't have a rhyme or reason why I do the things I do. Um, I just give it a go and give it a try and um, I really don't put too much thought into it. Just jump in and I do I do kind of mess up a little bit <clears throat> and if right there on his top of the head it becomes too dark. But it it's okay because what I end up doing is grabbing some water and removing some of that paint. And I'm just shadowing it in and blending the color in. Now my paintbrush right there is quite wet. That's why I'm able to relift some of that black. Because I want, excuse me, I want the um, pencil line to come through. And I think we're all done with, not all done, we're done for now with the owl. And then here we're going to put some flesh tone by Americana acrylic paint onto her face and body and I don't use too much. Now I still have black, the little black um, that I pull, um, that I poured out on my drop paper there and don't worry we're still going to use it. I actually pick it up with my finger and put it above and I think I'm going to do that right around now. Well, not yet. There we go. I'm going to just scoop it up and then place it above. And we're going to use that later. Last night I was looking into getting some paint brushes. Um, and I found quite a few. It's a gamble though. I'm going to get them eventually. Uh, on, uh, on the site called AliExpress. Quite cheap, but it's a gamble. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. I really want to, I really need some paintbrushes. And we're going to bring that color flesh down to her neck and leave some of that red as shadowing. 
and I, le I like leaving the black. And now her head is tilted. So while she's being created, I, I thought I was going to leave her nude. Because I like, I, I like the way it looked. You'll see in a little bit. It just reminds me of childhood, you know? Running around with sometimes just a tank top or sometimes with just a pair of briefs or pantaloons. But I've decided that I am going to give her a little striped shirt. I love I love doing my little girls in striped shirts. So she's still not going to be done. But I still have that black left. And what other color? I'm looking through the cards right now to figure what are we going to work on next. What can I use that black on? Oh, there's a card that I'm working on off camera. I'm going to put her aside. Alright, so I found the flower again. And we're going to work on the flower. And we still have black, so that's what I'm going to do with the black. And we're just going to start slowly and put some little... Uh, I don't know what they're called. I do know what they're called, but at this time I don't know what it's called. But the little black dots that sometimes some flowers have. Hmm. And then our stem, and then I like to give it a big, uh, um, I don't know what that part is right now either. It holds the head of the flower up. The weather's been quite nice here in California. And then we're still going to use up all that black until it's mostly gone and just um, splitter splatter, poke a daughter, and then I realize, oh, you know what? Now that I have some black and I have this paintbrush out and the paintbrush is actually behaving and not splitting in two, <clears throat> we're going to define some of the petals with black very lightly, very, very light, with a very light touch. And I also, I don't hold my brushes intensely. I hold my brush very loose. I think we're done with that flower and now I'm just going to doodle around and s put some sp spots of black here and there until all that paint is all gone, folks. And then I'm going to share with you guys what the postcards are looking like. Um, I think towards the end. Hope you guys are enjoying the series and are inspired to create your own. Yep, that's what I do. <laughs> Alright, this is where I think it's done, but I doubt it. I'm not sure though. We'll find out together. But That's what that one looks like. And then that one there, which is just just the soul sitting there. I'm going to call that one something someday. <laughs> I don't know what right now. I think that one's done. 
just needs a name. That's not done yet, I know for sure. We're still going to work on, on the owl. I'm not sure about that one yet. I thought we were done, but we're not. And there's the little girl, and here's all the other ones. And I'm going to leave you here to look at these and say thank you for watching. Thanks for commenting, and please share with your friends, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Be inspired, keep creating, and keep caring for each other. I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to dry this. No, no, we're not. Actually, Odette, a girlfriend of mine, sent me a Darcy heat tool, and that's what I'm using. And I've been enjoying it a lot, having that. Thank you, Odette, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao!